everyone welcome back so this is just a an addition to a previous video i did 6.6 .6, distributed property without variables um, i had a few questions where people were a little confused about how to rewrite using the distributive property when we're looking at a sum of two numbers versus when we're looking at the product of two numbers so do not get these two confused. When I'm rewriting the product of two numbers, that's when I can easily break this number up into two numbers. So I can break this up into 70 plus four and then bring down my three. However, when I'm looking at the sum of two numbers, that's where I would first need to find the GCF of both numbers. And then I have to pull the GCF out by factoring, which is also considered division. And then I'm rewriting my answer as a product of the GCF and the sum of their factor pairs. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so here are our steps. Use the rainbow method to find the GCF of both numbers. Then once you've done that, identify the GCF. Factor out the GCF. So this is a method of division and then write your answer as a product of the GCF and the sum of the factor pairs. Now let's apply that to this example. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to list all my factors of 36 and nine. So bear with me. So I'm gonna use my rainbow methods. So I'm gonna start with one and 36 and work my way that way. Okay, one and 36. 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, 5 does not go, and then 6 times itself, we'll just write it once. So here are my factors for the number 36. Now let's do the same thing for the number 9. So 1 and 9, two does not go, three and three, but I really could just write that once like I did in the previous example, okay? So here I have my factors listed out for 36 and for nine. So I need to identify what is the greatest number that they have in common. So they both share the number one, they both share the number three, and they both share the number nine, okay? The nine would be the greatest number for each of these. Now I want you to pay close attention to the factor pair associated with the nine, which here is four for 36 and one for the number nine. Now we're gonna go ahead and rewrite 36 plus nine using the distributive property. So I've already completed step one, I've identified my GCF, and now I'm gonna go ahead and factor that out. So I'm gonna put it on the outside of my parentheses, and I'm gonna to say to myself, 36 divided by nine is what number? Or I can say nine times what number is 36? That work was already done when I listed all my factors. So nine times four is 36, therefore 36 divided by nine is four. And then now nine divided by nine is one. And if I go down here, I see that the factor pair for nine is one. So now I've rewritten 36 plus nine as a product of the GCF and the sum of the factor pairs, okay? So nine was my GCF and what I have after I divide both of those numbers, four plus one. If I were to go ahead and multiply, it would take me right back to where I started. Nine times four is 36, nine times one is nine. And I can stop right here. Let's take a look at another example, 35 plus 40. So I'm gonna start off with the number 35 and I'm listing all of my factor pairs so that I can identify the GCF of 35 and 40. Once you're really comfortable with your multiplication, you won't necessarily have to list out all your factors. You'll just kind of be able to look at the numbers and process it mentally. So one times 35, there's no two, there's no three, there's no four, there is five times seven. Okay, so here are my factor pairs. Now let's do the same thing for the number 40. 
So I have 1 times 40, 2 times 20, there's no 3, 4 times 10, 5 times 8, okay? And that's where we stop. So let's go ahead and connect these. Okay. Now I need to identify my GCF. So they have the numbers 1, 5, and that's it in common. So the GCF here is 5. Okay. And again, I want to pay attention to that factor pair because I'm going to need to use those numbers as well. So I'm going to factor out the number 5, and that's going to go outside of my parentheses. Now 35 divided by 5 is 7. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So 35 plus 40 written using distributive property is 5 times the sum of 7 plus 8, or 5 parentheses, 7 plus 8. 8 closed parentheses. Let's take a look at one more example. Here we have subtraction. So the number 90 and 75, these are both pretty big numbers, but we're going to go ahead and factor them just the same. So 90, 1 times 90, 2 does go evenly into 90, 2 times 45. 3 times 30. 4 doesn't go, but the number 5 times 18. 6 doesn't go. Well, 6 does go. 6 times 15. 7 doesn't go. 8 doesn't go. 9 times 10. All right, squeeze that in there. Now let's take a look at the number 75. Okay, so 1 times 75. 2 doesn't go, but the number 3 does, so 3 times 25. 4 doesn't go. 5 times 15. 6 doesn't go, 7 doesn't go, 8 doesn't go, 9, so on and so forth. So then we'll come back to the 15. So now let's go ahead and identify. So the factors they have in common are 1, 3, 5, and 15, okay? And the greatest of those numbers would be 15. So now let's go ahead and again identify the factor pair. So 15 times 5 and 15 times 6. So we're going to factor out the number 15. 90 divided by 15 is 6. Bring down our subtraction. 75 divided by 15 is 5. For a final answer of 15, parentheses, 6 minus 5, closed parentheses. And that's all you'll need to do. It's just asking you to rewrite using a distributive property, so you don't need to solve it any further. If we needed to solve it, then we could have rewritten as 15 times 6 minus 15 times 5, which takes us back to where we started of 90 minus 75 for a final answer of 15. Okay? Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Have a wonderful day.